Good morning traders, it is Wednesday the 19th of October and in this video I'm doing a pre-market plan demonstrating my ideas for today. I've got an AMD trade idea, a Tesla trade idea and also a Netflix trade idea and we will also be going over the SPY um, just over like a quick overlook just to demonstrate my thoughts and the sort of direction we, we look like we're going to be heading in in today's session. So first things first, SPY overlook, the chart is on the right as you can see over here. I did demonstrate yesterday that we are in a potential dog bottom and it looks like we are testing the neckline right now. The neckline being this purple slash pink line just here. So ideally for today, we are looking for a bullish, uh, a bullish run, ideally to uh, test the, the highs of this recent supply. Or maybe just a little consolidation candle, but we must at least close above this purple slash pink line if we are to um, continue the trend. As I, I, I just think that if we start pulling back now, then we are we are very very much more likely to just pull back and maybe uh, form a a head and shoulders pattern, maybe around this June low level. But that's just me. Just something to look for. Uh, that's basically the spice. So let's get into our trade ideas. First things first is AMD. So if we s just quickly get up our AMD chart over here, go on the 15 minute time frame. So this is the kind of range we're working with. So I've stated, it's got the one hour, sorry. So I've stated that the one hour is bear flagging. What I mean by this is this pattern right here. We are kind of bear flagging right now. It does look like we want to trickle down and do something along the lines of that. Uh, so I've also said I'm watching for a gap up in pre-market to long. Because if we do get a gap up in pre-market, possibly above this level here, then everyone in this uh, range is then under the water and they are very much so trapped. So we are likely to see something along the lines of this, or at least what I'm hoping for. Uh, will only long if bullish volume is strong and what I mean by that is if the three minute opening volume session is higher or at least relatively higher than yesterday's volume right I will demonstrate this in the discord so if you aren't in the discord make sure to get in that um, I have got some long and short things as well so I am only bullish over five seven um, five seven ninety which is literally this level just here, this black line. Uh, so, so far you could say that I'm bullish, but only because I want to see these shorts trapped. And I've also got a profit target of 58.90 and then 60. So this level right here and this level here as well. Um, now, obviously, we could go the complete opposite way, and that is why I've moved my uh, short under level uh, higher. So it's now at 58.20, which is this level just here. So if we go underneath this level, I will be short, and I am looking for 56.30 test again. As we can see, we have tested this many times in the past, and it wouldn't surprise me to see the stock go down and test it again before we start going back up again. Or we could go straight back, straight for it, which is also a, another option. Now we're going to go on to Tesla. Similar setup to Netflix, but earnings is also tomorrow. I've also said a lot of room to the downside back to 200 wouldn't surprise me to see this area tested again earnings tomorrow right so i'm basically just saying that i'm i'm, I'm our only long stock if it breaks 224 which is this green line right here uh my profit targets are 227 that's meant to be 227 i do apologize 227 and 233 which is this levels right here and this one's up here as well Short, however, I'm only going to be short under this black line right here, which is this previous um, bull flag low. And I'm looking for 215 slash 211. If we just go on the downside, I mean, if you go on the daily on Tesla as well quickly, take off the drawings, you can see that this, this level here has been tested multiple times and we're currently closing in on earnings. So you just got to think, are we going to actually break down this level for earnings and actually gap below because it is a possibility there is a support around here that's a terrible line there is a support around here around this 190 area so 
you know, if we do get down for earnings, it does look like this 190 will be tested. So, just something to think about for Tesla. Uh, obviously, earnings are tomorrow, so we could experience a lot of chop in today's session. So, there's something to think about as well. I will try my best to alert players for the Discord. We did uh, trade one stock yesterday, and that was Tesla. Funny enough, uh, we called it a 2 to 4.3, and it fell all the way down to 2.17. So, pretty... Um, Pretty good trade. Last one is Netflix. It has gapped up due to earnings and it is looking rather great. So if we go on extended hours, it's 278.78 is the high so far. And in my opinion, I want to see this fade. So I've literally said I'm going to be shorting at open. I'll be short um, at open if the stock is under 278 and my profit targets are 260.252. Um, Basically, my reasoning for this is because we're up a drastic amount in pre-market. The whole other market, like the Spy, Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, is not looking strong enough to perform another bullish move. Uh, to perform a bullish move in sync with Netflix. So, in my opinion, I'd like to see Netflix fade. Uh, this 260 is a monthly level. So, if we go on a monthly here, you can see it's the bullish close, the bullish open. I mean. And I don't know, I just feel like this level is going to be like a magnet today. So we could really experience a uh, a $15 per share gain if this does fade all the way down to there. Now, of course, uh, everything in the stock market is unlikely or or could happen. It's, it's a possibility at least. But uh, a $15 fade on Netflix wouldn't meet its ATR. But, I mean, it's just something to think about as well. You could hold it maybe into Thursday, but um, we're just going to see how it goes today. Make sure to get yourself into the Discord as we are alerting out our plays for free. So if I just show you real quick, this is our room, and yesterday we alerted Tesla here. This is basically what our alerts look like. So we give an entry, give a stop loss, and of course, um, give a take profit level, which is all, all on screen. Alright, so that's it for today, pre-market plan. I will obviously <laughs> try and get a little more lively in tomorrow's session. I'm feeling quite under the weather. Don't know if you guys can tell. But I wish you all the best of luck in today's trading session. And I will catch you in tomorrow's pre-market plan. Take care, guys.